Far out in the Indian Ocean, two men search for sharks. Hugh Vitry is a dive guide and naturalist. Ryan Johnson is a shark scientist. Their dive site is a labyrinth of reefs, caverns, and caves. And it holds a special secret. Unusual sunken pits that look like they've been carved by giant whirlpools. These places are special. They hold a magnetic attraction to sharks. Huge numbers of sharks. The very shape of these pits channels the water into violent vortices. Bad for divers, but good for sharks. But what exactly attracts the sharks remains a mystery. At the base of the pit lies an entrance tunnel like a secret passage. At the end of the tunnel, a chamber of light. Hugh calls this the cathedral pit. It is like God talking to you. And then, a pair appears right in the cathedral's floodlights. Soon, followed by another one. And then, a large and very pregnant female shark arrives on the scene. To see a breeding pair and a pregnant female is an excellent sign. It's much harder tagging shy sharks like these. I'm used to big great white sharks who aren't afraid of coming close. One shark is bolder than the rest and comes close. Success. And then another. The tag doesn't harm the shark and the animal gets used to it quickly. The tag will allow me to follow the sharks when they leave the pit. Each tag gives off a radio signal that he can pick up on his topside receiver. He'll follow the shark all day if necessary. She completes her journey three miles away and rests. And then, look, look, look. sharks swimming down the channel too. They must swim fast to keep up. The sharks lead them over a wall and into another shark pit. Everywhere they look, sharks. 50, 60, 70 sharks. It looks like it is a nursery because it is only young sharks here. That's incredible. I can see the shark that you tagged over there. It's the shark from the cathedral. And another arrival from cathedral. It's clear the sharks are moving between the pits. Up above, the surface of the basin pit is churning. The foaming water attracts the sharks, something Hugh has noticed in all the shark pits. Hugh suspects there's a good reason why the sharks like this foaming water. I think that all these bubbles in the water bring extra oxygen into the pit. Could this explain why the sharks like these pits? A lot of sharks, including the blacktails, have to continuously swim to breathe. 
So if it is a situation that within the pit there are high levels of dissolved oxygen, it might give them a greater chance to rest. They don't have to swim quite so much to get the same amount of oxygen. Ryan needs to sample water from all the shark pits. What's going on is that these waves are crashing up against the island and it hits the rocks and all this oxygen rich water gets shot down right into the pit. That's what the sharks love, that's what they seem to be looking for. Back at the dive headquarters, Ryan checks to see if his results confirm his theory. When I first hopped into the water outside of the pits, I was swimming through these normal levels of dissolved oxygen. But as I swam into the pits, the levels of oxygen increased around 4 to 5%. So it seems that this almost jacuzzi of super oxygenated water is what's drawing all these sharks into the pits. So Hugh was right after all. Hugh and Ryan's expedition has unlocked some of the mystery surrounding this very special hidden world. There is no doubt that these pits are critical habitat for the local survival of the shark species. I want to keep those places where we have seen the sharks, I want to keep them secret because I want those sharks to be at peace. For now, the location of the shark pits will be Hugh's secret. 